Touche. Welcome back, everyone, and good Friday morning. It's the end of the week, almost the weekend. Hold on tight. We are watching a more active weather pattern start to take place here over the next several days, bringing rain chances really through early next week. Scattered rain chances earlier this early this morning. Storms are possible late on Saturday, heading into early Sunday. So keep an eye on some severe weather as well. We'll break that down here in just a moment. Cooler temperatures are expected for your Sunday as we head a little bit closer to Mother's Day. Now outside this morning, we're watching limited activity for northeast Kansas. We are seeing a few pop up showers move across the Salina and Wichita area. We're expecting these showers to drift a little bit further northeast with real, really minimal impacts for us here. But those showers are possibly on the way scattered in nature at this at this moment. On a national level, we are watching this ridge build in from the west and this ridge lets us know we have a high pressure system over much of the central plains. And that's going to warm us up through at least tomorrow. But don't be fooled, that warm weather was going to go pretty quick. We're watching lower 60s for your Mother's Day. 42 right now, calm winds are in place. Thankfully, winds are not going to be too big of a problem today. Temperatures waking up, not half bad, a little bit on the chillier side. Lower 40s for some spots, Manhattan 40, 47 for Emporia, 37 for Lawrence. Looks like you might want to grab a light jacket out the door this morning, but nothing too bad. Average for this time of year is uh, 73 for your high, 52 for your low. We're going to be right about that this year, if not just a little bit under that. Here's what it, uh, the model I'm favoring right now is upper 60s and lower 70s for much of the region. Some spots trying to make their way into the middle to upper 70s today, but I think we're going to be staying right around that 70 degree mark for the majority of the area. By tomorrow afternoon, we warm up quite a bit into the middle to upper 70s. Some spots trying to see the lower 80s. You can see that in our southwest western viewing area right here and that's that warm front being lifted into the area that warm front's also going to be a possible catalyst for some thunderstorms maybe even some severe so we want to keep an eye on that warm front specifically playing out the for uh, the future track for us here's what you can expect again cloud cover and scattered rain chances make their way in through the nine o'clock hour really start to fill in through lunchtime that cloud cover becoming widespread and those showers still rather spotty in nature, but they are popping up on our future track there by late tonight, heading into early tomorrow. This model wants to show these thunderstorms a little bit further to our south and east. Another model wants to show them a little bit further west. It all depends on where that initiation begins, but keep an eye on its chance for some scattered thunderstorms late tonight and into early tomorrow. By 1130, just before lunchtime tomorrow, clouds move in and then we start to see our thunderstorm potential pop up starting near Concordia in the western viewing area. Take a look at this. We're seeing some deep light pink in the in the radar right there and these returns letting us know that we could be seeing some severe weather making its way through the viewing area right now all hazards are on the table so something we want to keep a close eye on right there forecast for the week upper 60s today middle to upper 70s tomorrow once again keep a close eye on those thunderstorm chances late tonight and into tomorrow as well Otherwise, those temperatures are just on the cooler side. We're tracking 61 for your Mother's Day right now. And then for the rest of the week, those 60s really just not going too far. And a very active beginning of the week as well with some rain chances.